Hi friends, in this tutorial I am going to be teaching you guys how to change the pattern of a date. So first uh, for this uh, tutorial or for changing the pattern of a date we need to import the regular expression or the RE module. So what this line does is that it imports the RE module. So let's create a variable. We are calling it text and let's uh, enter in a text. Uh, today is uh, 4th of, it's today is uh, 23rd of April 2018 and let's say tomorrow is uh, 4th uh, 24 2018 so today is uh, 23rd of April 2018 and tomorrow is 24th of April 2018 so this string uh, is in the text variable so let's say we want to now in here the date pattern is uh, and first there is month then there is the day and then there is the year in here as well first uh, there is the fourth which is April and then 24 and then 2018 for the year so let's say we want to have the year first then we want to have the month and at the end we want to have the date so what we do for this is uh, first let's create a variable called result to hold the uh, the end result of this uh, thing that we are going to be perform so for this we are use as I said we are, um, as I mentioned previously we have to use the RE module and we are using the sub method of the RE module so this RE stands for the RE module which we are importing from here and then sub this is the method of the RE module which is which we are going to use to substitute this these two dates so this has the month first, day second, and the year. So what you want is to have the year first, the month, and then the day. So we are using the sub method of the RE module to perform this. So what we are going to do is first, we are saying that uh, match anything that has a digit in it. So this stands for a digit. And then we are saying uh, it, if it is followed by a forward slash, and then there is another digit. So you can see that this is the same as in this format. First there is a digit, then there is a forward slash, then there is another digit, then there is a forward slash, then there is another digit. So in here as well. So this also is the same. This is a digit plus a forward slash, then another digit plus uh, another forward slash, and then another digit. So what it does is that it says one two three three digits and two forward slashes between in here we can see that there are three digits one two and three and there are forward slashes between them so we are saying that match anything uh, that has this three digits there were uh, two slashes in between them and what you do is you replace them how do you replace them you are saying take the third digit first then use a dash then use the first digit then use another dash and then use the second digit uh, this dash or hyphen whatever you pronounce it or call it so this third it is referring to this one 2018 so this is first this is second this 23 and 2018 this is the third one so what you're saying is uh, saying uh, once you find this a digit uh, forward followed by a forward slash and then another digit another forward slash and then another digit what you do is once you find these things just uh, flip them or uh, change their positions first use this the third one then use the first one and then use the second one as you, uh, so the first use the year then use the month and then use the day so this is three two one and two year is third month is uh, sorry this first one this is the month and then there's the day so it's three one two we want it to be in the order of year first month second and then day third so we are saying just whenever you find this pattern once you find it which are uh, these two dates which are these two dates then change this their order and where do you want to do it so we have to uh, mention it that we want to to search the uh, variable that holds this text which in this case the name of the variable is text so we are saying check the text variable or the string that holds uh, that is inside the text variable and if you find this three digits with two slashes between them change their order to this uh, so now let's print it so we are saying print 
and the name of the variable result so this result this variable it is this one this holds this result this variable holds the result of this operation or this instruction so we are saying just print it so let's save it let's come to our command line and say python tree and uh, the name of the file is uh, replace.py so we are saying replace.py so now this is important in here we can see that the date has been changed so in here we can see that first it was 4th for april and then 23rd and 2018 now it is flipped so we said take that third one first which in this case was uh, the year 2018 then we said take the first one the first one is uh, this one fourth so it is followed by four and then there's 24 which is uh, this one in here in here it's 23 so this is second one so this is four is first 23 is second so that's why we are seeing this so what it does is it, it takes the dates and then it changes them the year is first the month is second and then it's the date so same uh, in here this is the same the third comes first which is the year then it is the first which is the month and then it's the second so this is one two three we are changing it we are saying use three one two so first use the three which is 2018 then use one which is four and then use 23 so 28 24 28 to, sorry 2018 four and 23 and same in here so i hope uh, you understood this guys uh, if you didn't just uh, if you have any questions put it in the comments section below or if you have any suggestions uh, feel free to put it in the in there as well so this is it for this tutorial guys uh, i'll see you guys in the next one